years ago, and I ain't gonna say how many <laughs> years ago, but years ago, me and Taylor Boyle came home one night and went down back below the house to a little cornfield, about 10 acres of corn. We cut the dog loose at the gate. They went through the corn, straight out the back of the field and tree. Well, we took off running, right you know, looking for a coon. Get to the tree. There sits a big bobcat up in the tree. In the tree? In the tree. <coughs> Taylor Boy said, what we going to do? <coughs> I said, we're going to catch him, Taylor Boy. So I run back up to my house, which went for a mile, got a pipe and a wire, and come back, a six-foot pipe and a piece of wire. Run a wire through the pipe, he, and he enticed me <laughs> oh, to be I the would, one to go get it. I wish I'd have had You went up in the tree. And I climbed the tree, swig on the tree, climbed up in there with this cat. Got about, you know. Now, what was the cat doing? Was he just scared? Or was he, he just sitting there, you know, and snarling, you know, making a little <laughs> snarling. So I'm like, you know, you don't oh, need to get too man. close. So I got within reach of him with that pipe. Six foot pipe. Uh huh. I reach up. I keep fooling with this cat. You know, he's ducking and carrying on. But finally, I get that wire in the right position. He picked his head up. And when he did, I come down on that wire and put that noose on his neck. I had him in. Fight was on. I ain't never seen nothing fight like that thing. The fight, man. He was jumping all over the top of that tree. Just hit. How high up the tree was he? We probably thirty foot. <laughs> <laughs> you hanging on with one hand and you holding on with the other. It was a fight, man. I'm telling you. I come down that tree. It took me a long time, you know, to get the cat down to the ground. I when when I got him on the ground, Big Daddy, this thing is done about passed out, you know. Because I got this wire so tight on his neck. Well, I lay him out on the ground. He just laying there. Ain't doing nothing. Eddie Bull said, you done choked him to death. I said, I hope not. And he got on and he went, <laughs> in that cat's nose and it was on again. <laughs> he come right back to him. Lord, we had him out there. The- so Taylor Bull blew in his nose. Like- yeah, he did. Uh, CPR. On it. <laughs> on a wild cat. <laughs> But we got him in the toolbox and put him in the toolbox yeah, alive. Yeah, alive. <laughs> Turn him back loose in that toolbox on my truck. I said, Boo, we're going to have a problem when we get home. He said, I bet you we are. <laughs> we got to his house and he had a cage to put it in. We're going to see what we could do with it. It took about 20 minutes. We finally got him out of that toolbox and in that cage. We kept him about three or four weeks. And probably a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and we are we we, we turn him back loose. Well now Clyde Ray, you and Taylor Bug caught your bobcat. We caught well, the did bob- either one of y'all get bit or scratch during Nobody that whole got process? her. Nobody got a scratch. <laughs> Lord have man, that's better than Jerry Clyde, right? It now. was a real deal now.